So, what have we learned so far? Do we understand why these four elements, well, why I've chosen these four elements, and how they actually interconnect now, and how they weave together? No? Yes? Yeah? Starting to get the idea? Yeah? Okay. So you see, our body is really intricate and complicated, but once you start to understand the reasons why, it becomes actually a lot more simple to figure out what's going wrong with you. Because you can actually create cause and effect now. Instead of doing this and going, I don't know why, that just, why, why it worked or why it didn't work. I don't know why I had this reaction from this. Now you can put stimulus or, or you, yeah, stimulus into one element and see the reaction through all of them. And then take some actually, a lot more information from that to tell you where you are. Because now you have a bigger map, now you know more. What else did someone learn today? Nothing? I can supercharge my sleep. Supercharge your sleep, yeah? Anything else? I know you learned something, guys, but you know, say, say. I didn't realize that light bulbs are four times the amount of blue light of the sun. Yeah, it's, it's, a bit, it's mental, I know. I, no, but you lose a difference. Yeah, it? yeah. That my kickboxing coach can stop breaking my balls about stretching. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell him to come speak to me. So, what, what I want to do now is I want to get Verges up here, actually, to talk about his experience with the neurological treatment I did with him. Because Virgis was suffering from adrenal fatigue and didn't even know it. He just like, it was like, oh, I just have poor energy at this time of day. I don't like working past this time of day because I just feel crap. Um, he also, he comes to me with a problem. Yeah, come. <laughs> Down there. Yeah, yeah, what, just because you don't want to go in front of the light. <laughs> Trust me, there's too much light. Um, he, he also, uh, you come to me with a problem saying, like, you know, you had a problem with your, your pull ups, why get pull ups? Like, Virgis is a bit of a machine. He's like, better, better now. Yeah. Better now. <laughs> yeah. And you see, better now. He's like, someone like this go, oh, I have problems with my pull ups, I can only do 12. <laughs> was more. Uh, uh, no, it was 12 when we started. It was 12 when we, the first time we started. It was 12. And we were like, okay. Right. So, okay, Virgis, come see me. And we saw him, he was like going up to the side and stuff like this. But um, I want, so first tell them about why you came. Hmm. Then tell them what happened after you left, and then what you, f what, what you experienced uh, over the next couple of days. Right, um, okay, so I met Christian uh, four, five months ago, I think. Yeah, yeah about that. Um, fe February? Yeah, February. Yeah, we were doing course together. Uh, I'm coaching myself, so we're working on similar, uh, similar stuff. And I always try to improve myself. So this year was really kind of a big one for me. Mm -hmm. But I was doing a lot of courses, a lot of studies, uh, busy with clients as well. So it really gets to me when I start getting a little bit overwhelmed as well. And uh, uh, I kind of was aware of getting fatigued as well and uh, not productive. So that was one issue. But then uh, again, kind of with the Christian, when we uh, touch base on neurology and uh, uh, start understanding a little bit deeper uh, what kind of possibilities are there. And I thought, okay, you know, I struggle with a couple of things in my training, and that would be nice to see kind of improvements as well and uh, see a different approach than uh, the way I coach myself. You know? So uh, we set up the session, and then we've done the assessment, uh, and again, with, like I said, the Christian mentioned. Uh, we didn't test on uh, how many pull-ups you can do and stuff like that, so I wasn't impressed. I thought I could do more. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first of all, we've done assessment, and that again is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's different in itself as well. Uh, and I didn't understand then what was happening as well, so it's kind of magical at the end of the day, and the results we'll get as well is it's really quick. Uh, so, uh, basically, and now I'm a bit more aware about neurology and how it works and how the brain operates as well and what, what kind of dysfunction we have. So basically what we've done, um, Christian realized I have adrenal fatigue from, uh, from his testing. And uh, so he gets rid of that. And then what's happened after, I was able to do more pull-ups straight away, more posture improved on, on the spot. And you can see probably the picture yeah, there. The, the the picture, you remember yeah, the, so the it was, was pretty impressive because we didn't do any stretches. And, and myself as a coach, I don't believe in stretches as well. I think the body does compensate and then 
that's the reason why we're getting uh, in the muscles and stuff like that. But again, I didn't have tools to, to, to make that difference. Uh, so, so again, coming back to the uh, pull-up challenge. Yes, I've done more. I think. So we went from 12 to 16, we, 16. Did, so we, had, we spent Straight. about an hour and a half talking and then assessing and then yeah, like three the, sessions treating. Yeah, the treatment is, uh, the amazing part about the treatment is actually takes like three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah. When you recess the brain and then uh, from then the, the pull-up improved pretty much straight away. Uh, adrenal fatigue, uh, what the, the effect of that is started the same day. An amazing thing is uh, actually it went worse. <laughs> so I was like, what's happening? I, I contacted the physician and I said, I'm actually getting more tired now during the day and I feel like I, I want to sleep and I want to rest. I can't even do much. So that was uh, coming down to four to three days. And then uh, I realized uh, my energy levels went better. And uh, I remember one, one thing when I was reading the book, uh, I usually read the book by evening, and then I realized the vision was much sharper. It was really uh, kind of a big surprise, and I realized something changing, uh, something positive happening. And then from then, it actually gets better and better. So like Christian mentioned as well for me, is that it does take time and adrenals uh, stabilize. Uh, so it, it's not that straightforward. So the effects was amazing to see how your body start changing and uh, uh, the posture, the strength. <coughs> and the also, we had uh, another meeting uh, just yeah, a couple of days, yeah, first day, as well as just to work on other areas as well. I had a lot of injuries when I was younger, and uh, that again caused a lot of dysfunctions. I'm still having them. So when we were met Christian, we worked in the other areas, and that again. Uh, with a small treatment, which is like took a couple of seconds. Oh, is it your, 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 you had pain in your left knee when you squatted? Right, yeah. And uh, your knee was, it wasn't externally rotated properly? Yeah. Initially, three seconds? And but I, uh, I spent probably about uh, 20 minutes just messing about and just seeing what was there. But I, I found the original problem within five minutes or so, knew it was. It was like, okay, spent 20 minutes messing around just seeing what else was, uh, it was affecting. And then once we treated it, Straight away, squat, knee in line again, yeah. no pain in the knee anymore. So th things like this uh, happen, and just amazing. For me, as a, as a coach as well, it was really uh, revealing. What kind of, you know, is some tools are missing. And uh, at the moment, I'm uh, studying that subject to myself to improve. And so also, what I notice uh, is basically uh, the strength improves dramatically. And uh, actually, the, the, way, the way it works is, uh, the brain is like a supercomputer at the end of the day, you know, it's uh, the best we have uh, and been developed for millions of years and then, you know, the primary function for that is survival. So the brain is trying to protect it from things and uh, when I had injuries and created a lot of dysfunction, it's probably that, that's what the brain was doing for me as well. So the weaknesses I was facing, I couldn't, I couldn't overcome. I just, uh, the brain's expression of preventing uh, no, further tell, tell, tell them what the injury was. Uh, talk to them about exactly what the injury was that caused the whole problem, like okay. the accidents and the surgery. Right, so um, when I was 16 years old, I've been, like I said, I've been really active myself. So uh, I was 16 years old and I had a massive injury when I fall down from the stairs, so rollerblading and I've done a lot of tricks and stuff like that. So um, I had a massive injury in my back, thoracic back, and then also uh, developed uh, injury to my head as well. So it was a uh, blood clot growing to my brain. So I had, a, uh, I had needed operation, so that was a really severe uh, case and uh, it took, took uh, quite a little bit of time for me to recover. So a few years I was really uh, down. And what what were the symptoms up. you were feeling before the surgery? That's, that's the particular thing. Um, well, I think, you know, uh, what I noticed most is, uh, is kind of when you train, when you... I, I've done a lot, you know, you really have improved a lot myself, but then it feels like uh, something more to it. I should be stronger what I am now, right? the way I feel, and uh, it's something more to it, and I didn't know what. You know, I've done, I try a lot of things, and you know, my nutrition is put on as well, I train a lot, uh, I'm quite consistent on that, so it's still missing link, you know, it's like I was always looking for something else in there, and uh, neurology really start answering the questions uh, I, I was asking to myself, why, why I have that overall weakness, and, you know, sometimes I feel quite good and then sometimes it's going to be a little bit uh, different response in the training and stuff like that. So, from now on, it's, it's actually it's much more better. So, I'm still testing myself on things I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how much do you squat these days? Uh, 170, 180. 170. So, that, we try 170 kilos, so on the bar, that's here. 
Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad squatting weight. It's a, for someone who knows how to squat well, to improve, like to take away knee pain or to, to, uh, to improve their actual range in their knee or the external rotation of their knee while they're squatting is it's not something that's done lightly in many strength conditioning fields. So some people here will understand the significance of that, other people won't. But let me, uh, so let me ask you a few questions of myself. Uh, so I remember you told me you had a, before you had surgery, why did you have the surgery? And you were talking to me about vision problems, building up the pain right. in the head. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the main problem was the back, you know, so I injured the back, that was uh, uh, straightforward, so we, the, the doctors were treating the back. Uh, they didn't realize it was a blood clot growing to the brain, so they didn't re recognize that at the beginning. So, it took about half a year when the symptoms started getting worse. So, I was losing my vision, again, concentration and focus, and, uh, because it was pressing my back of my head. And again, it's a section with, to do with vision. Um, and really, really, basically, I was losing uh, sight. Not quickly, uh, so then we start uh, looking to doctors and researching more as well to finding the problem. And you know, then then we had again this is 16 years ago, 15 years ago, so technology wasn't wasn't that really uh, pinpoint the issues that we have. So it was uh, quite uh, quite tough time. Then, yeah. So so you so you see guys. Uh, so thank you both. Mm -hmm. So. Neurology can take an old injury like that, 16 years ago, that caused eyesight problems. He had the surgery, the eyesight problems went away, he was having stiffness in the back, all these problems. The, the problems in the back stayed with him for 16 years. Never changed, never got better, never recovered by itself. His eyesight problems, well, it got better, but it didn't actually fully recover. Now, my theory behind this is probably it was pressing on a cranial nerve or something in the system was, was wrong with the cranial nerves. I didn't test, I didn't go through to test any of that, so I don't know for sure. Not yet. Yes, not yet. Um, but what did happen is we found that there was a problem causing adrenal fatigue, structural problem, continuously stressing here. So the information being sent to his brain from these receptors in the back of his head, from specific receptors in the back of his head, was sending a stress response, saying, like sending an SOS signal, saying we're still in trouble, driving up stress response, continuously causing him to adapt and change his posture, particularly we, you see Burgess's head like it's here when he started. So even there, that one change, I only did one treatment that day. One change, one small treatment, three seconds. And it has a massive knock-on effect to the body. So this is where neurology really spikes my interest. This is what has encouraged me to create the new company and create this, uh, do this talk and start going on this line of, uh, of thinking is because now, suddenly, I'm able to answer questions of my own that before I was so unsatisfied with the answers that I'd previously get from other industry, professional, high level, experts, gurus of all kinds. They go, oh, that, my hip hurts. One of the reasons why I retired is my hip hurt. So I refuse to acknowledge the fact that that hurts, I just have to live with it, life sucks. No, it doesn't just suck, you're an asshole. Go away, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to, learn, I don't, I don't want to know what I can't do, I want to know what I can do. So, when, when we start looking down these lines and start finding these limitations, often it's just because someone doesn't have a full understanding of every part of every system that actually interlinks with the one and the other. Even still today, when I come and talk to, when I come to, talk to the next crowd in November, I'll be telling you a whole host of new information that goes on further beyond this, and next year, I'll be telling you new information. Next year, I'll be telling you new information. Everyone is still learning. Anyone that tells you they know the answer to all the questions is lying. And it's very dangerous as well. No one knows the answers. They only know the best information they have currently. And the reason why I believe I'm on the right track is because I'm asking the questions constantly. I'm still trying to prove that what I did to Virgis doesn't work. I'm still trying to prove that eating, eating protein is uh, not better than eating vegetables or vice versa. I'm still trying to find the reason why our body reacts in each way. Well, I've actually dedicated myself to studying biochemistry and quantum physics next to try and understand and explain this, this, these phenomena or these reactions at the smallest level.